Here's how to record audio only content with Spotify for Podcasters and Riverside. In this video, I'm going to walk you through audio recording both on the desktop and using the Riverside app for iPhone, Android, or iPad, which lets you record high quality audio from anywhere. You can use the chapters below to quickly skip to desktop recording audio content or recording using the mobile apps. Let's start here on the Spotify for Podcasters website. I can log in with my Spotify account. And here on the dashboard, I can view my past episodes or create a new episode. Let's start with a new episode. And to record, I'm going to click go to Riverside. If it prompts you to log in, log in with the same Spotify account you just used. Now that I'm here in Riverside, I'm going to record a new episode and I can choose record audio only. And now I'm in the Riverside studio and I'm one click away from recording audio content. If I want to record with a remote guest, maybe it's a co-host or an interview, I can click the invite button here and then just copy the guest link and send that in a text, email, or other message. Your remote guests or co-host can join on the desktop in the web browser, Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge, or they can join from a mobile device on the Riverside app. Either way, you can mix and match desktop and mobile devices for you and your remote guests. When I'm ready, I can just click the record button. I'll get a five second countdown. And now I'm recording high quality audio content right here in Riverside. I can edit it for free here in Riverside as well and publish this to Spotify for podcasters seamlessly. You'll also notice an upload progress here at the top and next to each person's name in this right-hand sidebar. That's the Riverside difference. We record pristine high quality audio content locally on your device, whether that's a desktop or a mobile device, and those high quality files are then uploaded to Riverside, transcribed, which makes it easier to edit, and you can export it in multiple formats. When I'm done recording my audio content, I'll just click the stop button here, and you'll see a progress bar. And now my files have finished uploading and I can start editing the audio content I just recorded. Here in the Riverside editor, I'll see a transcript of everything I just recorded and I can edit my content just by selecting and deleting words and phrases. Just like that, I edited my audio file. We also have AI tools under our AI producer like Set Pace, which can remove the perfect amount of silence from your recording. Smooth Speech can remove filler words and unwanted sounds. And you can also edit via the audio timeline below. When I'm ready, I can export an MP3 file here on the audio tab, normalize audio, which will make everyone the same volume. And this audio file will get exported directly to Spotify for podcasters and ready to publish. And now that audio file is sent over to Spotify for podcasters, I can title it, add a description, and then publish this new episode of my podcast right away. That's how easy it is to record audio only content on a desktop or laptop computer. Now let me show you the Riverside mobile app for iPhone, Android, and iPad, where you can record that same high quality audio wherever you are. First, you'll want to download the Riverside app for your mobile device. There'll be a link to download that for both iPhone and Android in the video description below. Once it's downloaded, open the Riverside app and then tap login down here. Like on the web, you can sign in with your Spotify for Podcasters account right here. Now that I'm logged in, I'm ready to record right here on my mobile device. I'll tap record down in the bottom right corner if you want to record high quality video from your mobile device, rotate it to landscape and you can do that. Or tap the camera icon and you can record audio only content. Let's tap the join button. And now we're here in our Riverside studio ready to record. If you prefer, you can even use an external microphone like a USB mic. I'll connect this Shure MV7 Plus. You'll see a pop-up here on the mobile device screen. Tap no on this pop-up and make sure you plug a pair of wired headphones directly into the microphone. That will allow you to monitor your own voice and your remote guests. You can invite those remote guests and co-host by tapping the invite button here, invite guest. Then you can send that link via text message, email, or use the share sheet on your mobile device. Then when you're ready to record, just tap record right here. You'll get the same countdown like on the web. And now you're recording high quality audio only content from your mobile device. Once you're done recording, tap the stop button here and then those audio files for both you and your remote guests will be uploaded to Riverside, just like on the desktop, and be ready for you to edit. You'll get confirmation that those files have been uploaded, and now you and your remote guests can exit the call. Back in your Riverside studio, you'll see the recording that you just did here on your mobile device, and you can access past recordings just by tapping one here. You can preview the content you recorded by pressing the play button. You can view the transcript of the full recording, and you can even start editing your content right here on your mobile device. I'll tap create new edit. Here on mobile, I can trim the in and out point of my content and I can see the changes reflected in the transcript as well as I'm dragging that in and out point. And when I'm ready, I can click the share button here in the top corner, share an MP3 file, remove background noise or normalize audio levels so everything's the same volume. 
and then I can export this audio clip. Once it's exported, you'll see that clip down here at the bottom. I can tap that, I'll share it. I can save the audio file from the Riverside app directly onto my device. I'll save it here. And now that I've saved that file, I can go to the Spotify for Podcasters app and publish a new episode here. Tap the plus button to create a new episode. And now I can choose that MP3 file I just edited and exported from the Riverside app. It'll upload to my Spotify for Podcasters account. I can title the episode and publish it all right here from my mobile device. I never had to go to a desktop. And that's how to record audio only content with Spotify for Podcasters and Riverside. If you'd like to learn more about the many tools Riverside has to offer, especially adding video to your content, check out this walkthrough right up here where I go through the entire Riverside editor, including our AI tools to create video podcasts in just a few minutes. And if you wanna learn more about the benefits of adding video to your podcast, especially for discovery and creating vertical clips like Riverside's Magic Clips, take a look at this video right up here. If you have any questions, leave comments below this video. I'll answer you personally. And don't forget to subscribe to the Riverside YouTube channel right here. Here we have lots of walkthroughs, guides, gear recommendations, and any new features coming to Riverside, you'll hear about it right here. Hit that like button and thank you for watching. We can't wait to see what you create.